videos of Ellen again, and then I'm just gonna do a quick lecture vlog on the mammalian um, nervous system, um, specifically the automatic nervous system. Uh, yeah, the automatic nervous system is part of the peripheral nervous system, and this nervous system is the one that basically controls all of your involuntary, involuntary movements, involuntary everything. And um, there's two main parts of this nervous system. There's the sym sympathetic and the parasympathetic. And basically, the sympathetic is the one that has to do with like um, responses like the release of adrenaline, like fear, fear responses. Where parasympathetic is more like for good things, like say you're happy, you're at a beach, you're happy. It's the parasympathetic. So for sympathetic, I'm just going to talk about the passages of like um, of what it takes to basically get a response. So you start off with the preganglionic neurons, and the preganglionic neurons in the sympathetic are located in the thoracic and lumbar regions of the spinal cord. So the parasympathetic, uh, sorry, so the pre preganglionic neurons will release acetylcholine to the postganglionic neurons, which are in located in ganglia that are near the spinal cord, and. Um, the release of acetylcholine, so like these postganglionic neurons will, um, basically the acetylcholine will bind to them and it will bind to the nicotinic ligand-gated ionotropic channels um, and basically that will cause these to release um, epinephrine or norepinephrine to the target organs. So say for example the pacemaker cells of the heart. Um, this process will cause the release of norepinephrine and it will cause the heart, basically the heart to beat faster. So like it would tell the, it would bind to the target cells and basically it will bind to a G coupled protein receptor and it will cause a response for the pacemaker cells to beat faster. In the parasympathetic nervous system, the preganglionic cells are located in the brainstem or the sacral region of the spinal cord. So basically same thing. They're going to release acetylcholine to the postganglionic neurons, but these postganglionic neurons are located in ganglia that are closer to the target organs instead of um, in the sympathetic where it's close to the spinal cord. So here, um, instead of releasing epinephrine in the parasympathetic, it will release acetylcholine. So the release of acetylcholine by the preganglionic neurons will cause the postganglionic neurons to release acetylcholine to the target organs. And another example would still it would still be the um, pacemaker cells of the heart. Um, yeah, but except it'll cause a different response. And um, there's one that's more specific, I guess. Um, it's the release of adrenaline. So this is part of the sympathetic um, response. So the preganglionic neurons in the thoracic lumbar region will release acetylcholine, and um, instead of releasing it to the postganglion, like since this happens so quickly, it will skip that and go straight to the adrenal cortex, specifically. Actually. Yeah. No, it will go straight to the adrenal medulla. And like it will bind to the cells, chromatin cells, and the adrenal medulla. And basically, so it releases acetylcholine to those cells instead. And then those cells will release epinephrine into the bloodstream. So um, the reason why this one's different is because since it's a release of adrenaline, like this, this needs to be a really fast response. It's usually, it has to be really fast, so it skips a step of the postganglionic neurons. Um, that's basically it for the mammalian nervous system. Um, uh, just in case I didn't make it clear earlier, it's part of the peripheral nervous system, which is made of all the nerves, all the limbs. The central nervous system, on the other hand, is just the brain and like the brain stem, I like the spinal cord. So that's the main difference between the two. And like, there's another section of the. So as I said earlier, there were two parts of the peripheral. The other one is um, somatic, and that one's more motor. This one's more just uh, the automatic, which is involuntary.